It uh, it really seems like my request dot map knows that there are some request dots nearby. Should I be looking in the mirror at the lens? Lens. Yeah, I came up to Glasgow yesterday, video here in the corner if you've not seen it. And rather than go straight back home to London, I figured I'd stay over one night because up this end of the country, in the amazing and beautiful Cumbria, there's some more request stops I need to tick off. So I need to go to Carlisle, I'm gonna get the 1040 on this Pendolino, go one stop and pick up a uh, Rover Ranger ticket, uh, Cumbria Ranger ticket at Carlisle. So here's my map which I printed out in paper, but let's drop to the on-screen graphic and we'll dissect it there that way instead. Here's the map of the Cumbrian coastline, and to travel today I've got a Cumbrian Coast Day Ranger ticket, which gives you unlimited travel on the stations between Cumbria all the way down to Barrow. Note that this isn't the same as a Cumbria Round Robin or a Cumbria Day Ranger, those tickets cover larger areas. And I'm looking at ticking off Drig, Bootle, Sylcroft and Green Road for request stops and maybe Kirby and Furnace too if there's time. If not, I'll have to come back and grab that along with Flimby and Parton some other time. Sun's out. Welcome to Cumbria. <laughs> Welcome to Green Road. There is a level crossing. Tick this one off, this is the first of four, so we're bouncing back and forth. Uh, there's quite a few things, there's shelter, ticket machine, murals, community garden. So a few shots of Green Road and we'll then uh, head back north. And it's just worth saying that, definitely in the wake of all the stations, um, there was always a feeling that the best parts of the country were always A, Devon and Cornwall, uh, B, anywhere in Wales, uh, C, anywhere in Scotland, and add to that list, Cumbria and this line in particular, the scenes, uh, the beaches and uh, out across the water, uh, anywhere as the, the railway line literally hugs the coast, uh, are just uh, stunning and scenic. So uh, you should come out for a day on, on this line. The DMI on this side, the train is going to Baron Furness, but it says, well, two things. One, it says Fern rather than Furness. Why is it truncated? And also, I think the I should be not capitalised. And also, shouldn't it be dash? So barrow, dash, small i, small n, dash, furnace. I was going to say, let's ring the phone, but there's no dining tone and it doesn't work. So, uh, it clearly says, Northern, with the old logo, Green Road Railway Station, and a phone number that doesn't work and no dialing tone. So, uh, Northern, this phone doesn't work. And as I wait for the crossing to come down, oh, bird feeder, just seen that on this platform to go back any second. I've just noticed how there's an old style sign here, but it, it's in the green. The green road sign should be up there and it's slipped and fallen and is down. It's a shame that it's not in its rightful place. Right, uh, time to uh, make my intent clear. Train should be coming in a few minutes time. The northern circuit to Carlisle. No problem, see you again. Thank you. Look after yourself. Thank you. Welcome to Drig. I don't know whether to get a shot of the train leaving or, or, the, or the manual crossing. There's a manual crossing at Drig. Because when we run all the stations, 2017, was it, Brun it was either Brundle or Brundle Gardens? I can't remember which one of the two it is. Up on the Wherry Lines out of uh, going to Yarmouth and Lowestoft. But that whole section of line had a lot of manual gates and they've all now been replaced by Network Rail. Well done Network Rail, working hard. And I didn't know how many other manual crossings were left in the country. I'm having a great day. A bit of a gem of a discovery. What's clearly the old station house on the southbound platform at Drigg is now Spindlecraft. Uh, what's clearly the old station house is now a craft and coffee shop. So I just spoke to the lovely proprietor, got myself a cup of coffee, a cake, and it's like a craft shop, but there was a book section and uh, picked up myself a copy of uh, Cumbria's Lost Railways. So that'll be reading on the train home tonight. I do like a station with a gate. 
I also like a station with a Harrington hump. Should note, I passed through Harrington on the way down this morning when I do the northern part of this line at some point to tick off the other two request stops out there. I'll also make a fuss of going to Harrington and the original Harrington hump. I also like a station with a ticket machine and a shelter. Uh, I don't like a station which has, I just wish, do you remember let bin bags breathe? And these don't do that, although I know they're better. Uh, all right, the delightful drig. It really is exceedingly cute and quaint, and my train is in about 10 minutes time. It just realized, it just, just, just talk to the nice person that works the manual gate. How many crossings are there with somebody comes out and manually operates it? What do you reckon? Without signals. Yeah. So you've got <laughs> some bees. Yeah. Here. I said, how many gates are there? And he said, lots. <laughs> oh. Sailcroft, but it's barriers. Barriers, yeah. We're going to get a, a definitive answer from him in a second. Yeah, you're about the eight mark. About the eight mark. Dude, thank you so much. <laughs> Have a great day. But how many are there left in total? Will we ever get rid of all the manual crossing gates? Network Rail, do you want to make a video about uh, getting rid of manual crossing gates? What happens to the staff? What happens to the people that work the manual crossing gates? Do they end up, what, what happens? Do they get displaced? How does that happen? Let's do a video on that. This is the northern service to Barrowy Furnace. Sarcroft. And uh, is it a manual gate? There's a signal box. Oh, it's... Oh, it's... I've missed it. It's automatic gates. Sarcroft. Tick. Hang on, semaphore signal and a manual crossing gate. Oh boy. So I've come in, within five minutes there is a train going back south, which I could catch, uh, but weirdly this is the time of day where it goes from being an hourly service to a half hourly service. So there's like an infill, maybe like to pick up workers from uh, Sellafield perhaps, maybe, I don't know. So I'm gonna let this one go and then get the one in about half an hour and that will still get me uh, to Lancaster for seven o'clock in time to catch my train home. Manual crossing gate, signal box, semaphore signal, a delightful station building and a waiting shelter on this side. Bootle is nice, it's a double arrow as well. This is almost as quaint as Drig, but I think Drig, Drig is still winning the, uh, the quaint quota, which is now a phrase apparently. There's the crossing. There's the crossing sign, and there's a sign to the beach. So there's a station cottage here, very much the original station house. It's got a bike rack, it's got a magnificent waiting shelter on that side, as well as the, uh, the private residence this side. Oh look, imagine if that, if that, is that their back door? And their back door comes out onto the station. If they want to catch the train, they just, they just climb the fence, don't they? They don't walk around. Did that slip down? <laughs> Very annoying. There we go. Uh, I'm in the waiting shelter uh, on the northbound platform. And that brings us to the end. So that's four more request stops to tick off. So one, uh, my amazing request stop map, link below, which you can download, which again, I drew and designed at home. If you want to learn how to draw and design and have those skills, uh, there is a link to Skillshare also uh, in my description. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. That is it, that is more request stops. Slowly getting around the mall. I'll have to come back and do Kirkby and Furness and then the two uh, up towards Cumbria some other day. So Cumbria, I will be back. I love this line. Uh, all the staff have been very friendly. Northern, you've got some great drivers and guards conductors on the line out here. I love it so much. Uh, do come and visit. Uh, also, uh, don't forget Netherstone, uh, Braystone, sorry, Netherturn Braystones was a whole separate video uh, that Vicky and I once did for uh, least used Cumbria. Check that out as well. That's it. I'm just waffling now, but it's just, it's so nice here. Okay, thanks. Press subscribe. See you next time. This is the northern service to Barrowing Furnace. The next stop is Firecroft.